My name is Dr. Bolaños. I'm a cardiovascular electrophysiologist, and I'm board certified in cardiology and electrophysiology. Electrophysiology is uh, used to treat uh, abnormal heart rhythms or impulses. We deal with the heart's ability uh, to maintain either an appropriately slow or rapid heart rhythm for the activity that the person is doing. That can involve uh, treating slow rhythms or rapid rhythms. Uh, treating also patients who have a weakening of the heart or what we term cardiomyopathy, uh, episodes of palpitations, heart racing, um, and people who have uh, passing out spells. Uh, the procedures can be categorized in two general areas. Device-based procedures where we implant a device such as a pacemaker, a defibrillator, or what we call a cardiac resynchronization device which uh, allows the heart to strengthen in some conditions. And those are implanted via small surgical incision, usually on the left side of the chest or right side, depending on some other factors. The second type of procedures that we perform are what are called ablations. That involves a non-surgical technique where we um, diagnose, identify the abnormal heart rhythm focus, and then proceed to um, eliminate that focus with a little catheter that's got a very tiny heated tip about the size of a pencil. And this is often done as an outpatient with minimal to no recovery time. Patients often come to establish care with me in, 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 in many ways. Uh, the first can be by direct referral, which is the most common. Usually patients have presented with a complaint that might require further evaluation by an electrophysiologist like myself when they present to their internal medicine doctor, family medicine doctor, and more commonly cardiologist. Um, they can also be re referred uh, from within the hospital setting itself if they end up in the hospital with one of the problems that I treat. Uh, but in addition, if, if, you wanna, uh, uh, if you think that you may have a problem with your heart rhythm and you'd like to be evaluated, you can certainly self-refer. Many of the electrophysiology procedures that we perform, particularly the ablation procedures, are actually outpatient procedures where the patient comes in in the morning and goes home the same day. Some of the more complex ablation procedures, we keep them overnight just for observation purposes, but once again, go home the next day. There are cases where we keep patients for a couple days if we're also starting a special medication to help keep the heart in rhythm. Well, I try to focus on, on each patient as an individual. Uh, that may seem redundant, but in, in this field, uh, what is best for one patient <clears throat> at point A in time may not be the best option down the road at point D. Uh, I continually uh, reevaluate the patient, see how they're doing, see what their preferences are, Make sure they're well-educated on their, on their condition and the options that they have available to them.